everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a very simple floral design using a number 16 and a number 14 filbert brush they're a magic brushes a number 8 um, Deerfoot stippler and a fine liner by Westonia all the paints I'm using are folk art paints using lime green perfect purple Red Violet, Violet Pansy, Warm White, Thicket, Yellow Ochre, and possibly Burnt Umber. I didn't use it in my actual design, so I'm not sure once I do this if I will or not. But what I'm going to do is start off by doing my centers. I'm going to dip the front of the stippler into the warm white, the back into the yellow ochre. Did I even, yeah, hopefully I showed you that. So I am using yellow ochre. I can't remember if I showed you or not. Anyways, like I did the, the last design, I'm just going to tap in my centers. They don't have to be perfect because once again, I'm going to come back and go over them. But trying to do at least kind of a semi semi circle but I want to make sure I'm getting some of the yellow ochre in here too and towards the center as well trying to stay rounded as much as possible but they don't have to be that's up to you all right put that aside I'm going to do the 16 I'm just going to stick it into some of these other, or the purples, I should say. And I'm just going to quickly push down and pull towards the center. Push down and pull towards the center. Again, just push down and pull towards the center. It will be touching the center pretty much. Go on like that, and go on like that. And then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing towards the center and I hope that you can see all that and I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way I am a lefty so that can be a reason why just very easy and you can make your petals once again just shorter longer kind of stagger them a little bit that's up to you and I know they're a little hard to see right now but that's okay because we're going to go into the white, the warm white. And like I do on some of my other ones, I just will come back in and pull towards the center and lift up. Pull towards the center and lift up. Pull towards the center like that and lift up. Very easy, right? There you go. Pour it towards the center. Pull up. And there we go. If you have any questions or comments while I'm doing this, or after I do this, I should say, please feel free to put those questions down below the video. And I will do my best to get back to you. All right, so there we go with that. I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes. All right, so I'm just uh, gonna just keep going here with putting the stem in. Again, anytime you want to just alleviate a stem and just paint leaves around your flowers, or if you feel like your flowers are interesting enough, just paint flowers without stems. That's fine too. And then I'll just take my little brush and connect them. I always like to do it with them kind of swooping to a different direction. And I'll do one of my little holes this way. And have one going out that way. 
And then if I wanted, I can have one come through here. Or I might want to alleviate this one. Just really, the reason I say that is because it's going to be so close to these, these flowers. All right, so I'm going to take the number 14 filbert brush and I'm just going to start putting just a mixture of the two different greens into it. Nothing special and once again, I'm just going to be pushing down and pulling raising up and pulling towards the, the stem. You can kind of turn your brush a little bit too if you want. And just make um, just little pulls towards the center. And if you ever want to add in another color, you can certainly do so. This is where I'm kind of saying, well, I might use the burnt umber, I might not, but I might just kind of use it. That one kind of went off to the side, which is good. And if I want, I can pull in towards this stem now that's going out that direction. It's just kind of fun. vary your pressure when you're painting these so that you're not putting the same amount of pressure and that'll actually create a difference in how they look too if you do that. And just put it in going down the stem. Very, very easy, but colorful. Now, another thing you could do if you wanted is to put dots around the centers. I'm not going to do that on this one, but I am going to come back in here and put my little stems in here. That one's kind of full. just very easy. You can rotate the colors on these two. Come up with a, a third color. But I like using this little brush for adding these. I actually need to invest in some new ones. This has definitely seen better days. Let's go ahead and do the filbert, or not the filbert, but the Deerfoot Stippler brush again, putting the, the front into the off white or warm white and patting it down. And then I'm just going to tap in here, going around. in the center. I always like to do that just to make it more prominent. Or more, more pronounced, however you want to reference it. And I'll come. They don't all have to go the same direction either. Because you know when you're doing a an actual floral design, they wouldn't all be going in the same direction once you put together a bouquet or whatever you're creating. Then what you can do is tip the back side into that burnt umber. I feel like I'll use, use it here. I'm just kind of tapping some of it into the bottom here. Tap it on first and then do some blending. And then tap more of it off. And 
one in if you want to go back over it. And then put a little bit more of the yellow ochre on your brush. And do that. And you can play with it just to get till you get it the way exactly the way you want it. It's up to you. I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's good. All right. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And prior to leaving, if you would share this on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. I am trying to grow my channel. It's very simple. Just hit the share button underneath the video. Stay safe and healthy, and you have a good day.